Visitors are flocking to the lake. Boat ramps have just been reopened in South Carolina, but law enforcement officials say they're hunting for people violating social distancing guidelines. 7 News' Melanie Palmer joins us in the studio, and she checked out one of the busier ramps in the area to see if boaters are following the rules. So, Melanie, are they? Yeah, a lot of lakes in the upstate were packed today with boaters, but things are a little different for them than usual. A day Lori McGinnis has been waiting for. As soon as there's a nice day, you know, we all want to be out here on the water like everyone. And a much busier boat ramp than she's used to seeing. It's pretty busy, it seems like. it's Everybody's having a good time, though. And same goes for this guy who's spending his Saturday on a jet ski. The ramps are back open after South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster ordered them to briefly close to prevent the spread of COVID-19. But even though they're back open, those social distancing rules are still in place. No more than two individuals per boat, with the exception that family members from the same household can recreate together. You still cannot stop your boat at any beach, island, sandbar, or riverbank. You cannot tie or raft your boats together while on the water. And that's not all. Officials with the DNR tell us they have teamed up with a highway patrol and sled to watch the waves across the entire state and make sure people are obeying the rules. Uh, we got, what, four or five plus M now, so they, they just got married. And that's something the cousins say they're doing. There's a handful of them, but Caleb Cousin says they're minding their distance, not only from other boaters, but also each other. It's been really nice to just get out and enjoy the sun, I think, you know. And I think it's fun to keep, you know, a distance, but also get to enjoy each other's company. And something else worth mentioning is DNR officials say piers and docks at public landings are still closed for fishing. On top of that, you're still urged, of course, to social distance while near these boat ramps. Ayla? Melanie, it seems like a lot of people were really excited to finally get out and enjoy some of that sunshine. Would you say it really helped with people's moods kind of amid this whole crisis? Yes, I definitely would. Everyone I talked to seemed very talkative, to say the least, just because I think people haven't been outside and been able to interact with each other lately. So I think that plus the sunshine and kind of being able to see people from boats, so kind of social distancing in their own way is good for morale and kind of keeping up spirits a little bit through all of this. Absolutely. I think even just being able to see people face to face, even if you are at a social distance, can really make all of the difference in the world. So, uh, I mean, it looked like you had a good time out there today, too. I did. I was so tempted to get on one of those boats with the nice weather that we're finally having. It's definitely boat season, so it's good to take advantage of that, but also being safe. Ayla? Right, absolutely. Thanks so much, Melanie. And just a reminder, statewide, there are 70 different teams of highway patrol troopers, sled officers, and officials with the DNR that are monitoring those waters. 14 of those teams were here in the upstate. And you tonight, the coroner has identified a man who was shot and killed by police Friday night in Anderson County. We're told.